Imagine a four euro frozen pizza, man. That's insane. What's like the most expensive? Most expensive frozen pizza. Holy crap, man. What? Pizza is a symbol of fast casual food. Uh, one can order a pizza to their blah, 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 blah. Number seven, Kobe beef steak pizza Domino's. $72. Luxury version of fast food or trend in Japan. And pizza giant Domino's is no exception when they revealed the Kobe beef steak pizza in January last year. Sold for 5,800 yen or 66 US dollars. It says right here 72. This expensive pizza is topped with the famously high quality beef from Kobe, um, Kobe cows. What's so, what, why is Kobe cow important? They like massage the cow or some shit, right? What's so good about Kobe meat? I have no idea what Kobe meat is. Don't make a joke about helicopters right now, please. They massage them and they live free. Well, that's just bio meat if they live free. Marbling. The marbling of the meat. Sounds overrated. The magic gold, magic oven. Ah, oh, you put fucking the, the... How do you say in English? Blood gold. You put the, the weird uh, gold on it. I always felt like that's cringe. I'm, I can take a piece of poop, put some fucking... Uh, Sticky, what is that called? Golden leaf? I could, uh, gold leaf on it and, wow, it's expensive. Yeah, fuck that, that doesn't count. The Artiste at Dulfo 3rd Avenue Cafe in Dubai, $125. With Dubai being the heart of luxury in the Middle East, if not the whole world, it's no surprise that the veritable oasis of the metropolis would have a pricey pizza somewhere in the midst. The Artiste et Tartufo, literally translated in lobster and truffle, ooh. Goes for 459 dirham. I didn't even know what dirham is. Or roughly 125 US dollars. It's topped with, as you might have guessed, lobster and truffles. As well as fresh cherry tomatoes, asparagus, top mozzarella. Jesus. With all the respect though, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I can buy myself lobster and truffle and make my own pizza for like 40 to 50 dollars. How is it 125? Like these ingredients, like the lobster is probably like 20 dollars. Truffle, 20. Easy, man. Triple Müllfühl. Müllfühl. This is Domino's, man. My Domino's doesn't sell this. Domino's Japanese. Fucking Japan. Luxury market doesn't start and end with the Kobe beef steak pizza. The Triple Müllfühl pizza is a neat extra flanky twist on the idea of a stuffed crust pizza. Rather than folding the edge of the crust over a roll of processed mozzarella like Pizza Hut does, they use three layers of puff pastry. Like in the meal foil pastry from which the pizza takes its name. Oh, I, I understand that. You have like a dough, right? And you always flip the dough to make it, you know? How is that worth money though? As you might expect, this pizza isn't on the lighter side of, of takeout cuisine with extra cheese both on top and inside prompting warnings from Domino's delivery staff about its weight. According to the pizza junkies at Japan-based news blah blah blah. Muscle strain concerns aside, the site's fruit critic enjoyed... How is that? That's just cheese. How is that? Hundred... What? The C6 Stevenson Pizza Company, $450. The Vancouver-based Stevenson Pizza Company added his pricey pie to its menu in June of 2012. Topped with lobster, black Alaska cod, and caviar, the C6, as it's known on Stevenson's menu, requires a full day's notice when ordering it due to the sheer amount of work that goes into its preparation. In spite of C6's fairly small size, 12 inches, Stevenson's owner Nader Hatimi says the pizza is better suited to a small group than a lone dinner due to its richness. Jesus. That is just for rich people that want to like make a fucking stance. The world's most expensive pizza, Margo's Pizzeria, $2,400. That, that, that itself is already marketing, man. Some idiot is going to go there and buy it. In spite of what, what this pizza's name might suggest, no, this is not the world's most expensive pizza, though it was at the time of its creation in 2010, breaking the Guinness World Record. Make no mistake, even now it's 1,800 euros uh, cost could cover grocery bills for a good portion of a year. What, 1,800 euros for a year? Yeah, kinda, yeah. The pizza was topped with buffalo mozzarella, white truffles, and you guessed it, 24k gold leaves. That's so cheap, that doesn't count. You can make anything. I can go to the business world record. I'm the most expensive ginger in the world. I put some fucking golden leaf on my head. That is so cheap. I put golden leaf on it. Oh. Oh. The Miss Verdun. Mazu Pizza. $4,250. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh. The most expensive pizza in Canada can be found at Mazu Pizza in Verdun, Montreal. And is pricier than some vacations to Mexico. 
Making its debut in November of last year, the Miss Verdun, as Mizu calls it, features nearly every price ingredient imaginable. Lobster, caviar, 24k gold beef, and white truffles. While it's not the world's most expensive pizza, as Mizu's owner has alleged, it does come with an extra perk. According to a feature about the Miss Verdun, if you were to order the pizza to go, it will be prepared in your own kitchen by the chef of the pizzeria. Who the fuck does it? You have to be like some rich cunt to do this, man. The thing is, though, let's ask this question, right? You can really show a human's determination to a pizza when you ask this question. God puts you in a kitchen, he gives you a pizza, and he gives you all ingredients in the world. You now have to do your pizza. You have to top it. For the rest of your life, you can only eat this pizza. All other pizzas are off forever. What do you do? That's a good big one, man. That's a big one. Because I think it will be pineapple for me. I will do... You guys are so boring. Everybody's salami, man. And tonno is also good. Tuna, man, with fucking red, red onions. It will be, for me, it will be tomato sauce. Bunch of corn. Uh, minted meat. And little, little, little shots of cream fresh. Little shots. That's my favorite pizza, bro. Cream fresh is the greatest thing in the world, man. <laughs> strawberry and milk on pizza. Do strawberries and milk together are actually really good, though. Uh, do you guys have the same strawberry culture like us Germans? That was my parents did that. So my parents always had a garden and they always had self-made strawberries. So in winter, they will take the strawberries in. And you cut the strawberries into like four small pieces. You put them in a, in a bowl, bowl. And you put sugar over them. You mix it and then you put it away for an hour. And then they start having juice, the fucking the strawberry juice. Then one hour later, you mix these uh, sugar t uh, uh, strawberries with pudding, milk, whatever you want, man. And it's so, alhamdulillah, it's so good, man. If I had to eat one pizza for the rest it of my life, it would be chocolate pizza from Dr. <laughs> <Adam>. <laughs> <laughs> in Germany, there's a meme. Dr. Oetker Schokoladenpizza. They actually sell this. I saw a Galileo documentary. They actually sell this. God has abandoned us, and the human race has gone too far, and we deserve to be extinct. What in the holy fucking Christ is this? If you eat this, you, you lost all your rights to, to... What are you doing? This is not okay. This is not even a meme. They sell this in every supermarket, and, it, and it's apparently making money. How do you like your dough of the pizza? Thick or thin? People. Italian, Italian, man. Uh, it's a cultural thing, right? But I personally, you know, there's American style pizza, which is big dough and uh, dough everywhere, right? And there's Italian pizza, very thin, uh, very thin, and Italian is so much better, man. Dude, I, I, I think, man, you have to, you need a little bit of diabetes in your system to like the American style, man. Might as well just put fucking bread in my mouth, huh? It's ridiculous. Italian pizza is the greatest.